So are we dealing with a sex cult? I don't know if cult is the right word. I mean, they're actually doing charity work with the money, and Solomon seems to truly be helping people. Hello, he's a pimp. Technically, but... Legally. Prostitution is a low-grade misdemeanor, and these girls... Pandering is a felony. Conspiring to get somebody to commit a crime. Now, what about this girl who disappeared, Callie Stark? Well, I'm working on it. But the others, if anything, they were in worse condition before they met Solomon. I think he actually cares for them. So he turns them into hookers? It's a little more complicated than that. Not from the law's perspective. Oh, our flawless system of justice. Jamie, if you can't go through with this, I'll be happy to have TC pull you. No. Just tell me how we're playing it. And you promise to take care of me. I promise. As long as you're truly ready to join our family. I am. Just tell me what I gotta do. It's too early. No, it's all right. Jamie's realized that it's time for her to change her allegiances to the side that doesn't merely profess to want to help, but is committed, body and soul, to spreading the miracle of God's love. Bless you, my sister. When did you have time to make all these? While well, the girls were napping. They need to rest for the work they do. The work you'll be doing. What about him? Too short? All men are equal in God's eyes. Well, then he's never been in a Lakers locker room. I thought you wanted to spread the miracle. I do. I'm sorry. Take him to the Wave Rider Motel. You have nothing to be afraid of because he'll be right next door. carrying $12,000 in cash. The other girls gave me that money to pay for their hotels. What am I going to do? Don't worry, I'll get it back. I want to believe you, but you also said you would protect me. And now, uh, what if I lose my job? <laughs> okay, sit down. Okay, look. Now that we have this photo from the ATM camera, this guy's days are numbered. And if you want, I'll even talk to your boss for you. I can't even pay for my own food now. Let me take you to dinner. It's the least I can do. I don't know. I don't know you very well. Well, that's what I'm hoping to change. You ready for me, baby? This is pretty weird. Shh. He's listening. He may be watching. You lead. I'll follow. Are they joking? I'm gonna make you feel real good. Oh, sure doesn't sound like baby. it. Baby, be careful. What fun would that be? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. What the hell's going on in there? Well, it's been a while, but I think it's called sex. Shh. Keep going. Yeah? Yeah. Should we? Shh. He can hear us. Faster! Yeah. Stop! We'll be talking.
How was that? Amazing. Right at my side. Then bring me back a cigarette. Here you go, Solomon. Five hundred. Are all donations this good? Everyone's different. This is yours. But you wanted me to get it for you. Not for me. For God's work. Yeah. Use it to send out his message of love. But I don't know how. <laughs> You'll figure it out. You have a good heart, Jamie. Caring, generous. Trust your heart, as I now do. Do you? Unlike the others you've trusted your life with. Trusts based on meaningless codes and motives devoid of spirit. You're truly safe with me. Because I do truly trust and will not betray you. And I know you feel it. seen this guy so tell me about your family there's not much to say they weren't around who raised you stepdad foster parent what was the greatest lesson he taught you fear and that fear feels like being held in dark water being pushed under drowning And sometimes you feel the panic threatening to overwhelm you. And then the despair follows because there's no one there to save you. How did you escape? I shot him, point blank. He fell on me. You had no choice. He did things to me. My little sister Jenny was next. And you had to protect her because you loved her. And then they punished you. Your sister Jenny, what has she done with herself? She got herself into some trouble. I don't know. So you saved her life so she could just throw it away? Make me her sister. Pretend I'm her. Talk to me, sis. What won't you tell me? There's nothing! No! You're mad because you had to go away! <laughs> no! I was protecting you! Well, I didn't need your help. next you would have died so he had to... that is such a lie there was no one else to protect us oh so i guess that's my fault huh admit it you hate my guts you've always hated me i was a child i saved your life you ruined mine! Why? Why did you ruin my life? Ah! <laughs>